Um, my name is Katie. Um, I'm going to be speaking to you today about marketing on DoorDash. I um, just want to say thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedules to come hang out with us here and learn more about what DoorDash has to offer. I'm a product marketing manager. That basically means that my job is to help restaurants like yours understand how to use our products and um, use them to grow your business and reach your goals. So today, I'm gonna be sharing an overview of what our products are, or our marketing products are specifically, um, how they work. I'll share a success story about a restaurant who successfully used our products to launch a new location. And then I'll share some tips around how to get started and best practices. So just an overview of marketing on DoorDash. Uh, we offer two marketing products that will help you attract more customers and grow your sales on DoorDash. The first is called sponsored listings. So sponsored listings are like ads, they, or they are ads. They increase your restaurant's visibility on the DoorDash app by helping you uh, get featured more frequently, like on the DoorDash homepage or in search results or um, in specific cuisine categories. And we also offer promotions, which you may be familiar with if you run promotions in your own store. And it's where uh, you in incentivize, you can incentivize customers to order uh, with you through a special offer, like offering a discount or free delivery. What we have on the screen here is a visualization of both a sponsored listing and a promotion. So it's a sponsored listing because it's the first result to show up when someone clicks on that American Cuisine tab, and you can see it says add. And then it's also a promotion. You can see that this restaurant is also offering a discount. So um, if you can imagine, it's a, it's a Using both at the same time is a great strategy to increase your visibility and give customers an extra reason to order from you as soon as they see your ad. Um, I'm gonna deep dive into each one of these products. So the first one we'll talk about today is sponsored listings. Like I said, Sponsored listings are ads that are featured in highly visible places on the DoorDash app, such as the homepage and search results. Something that's unique about sponsored listings is that they are pay per order. So if you have experience advertising on other platforms like search or social media, um, usually ads are pay per click or pay per uh, impression. And so um, you don't always know if those clicks actually result in sales. Uh, with sponsored listings, you don't actually pay for the ad until someone places an order through it, um, which is a great way to make sure that your marketing budget actually results in sales. So it's just making your marketing budget work a little harder for you. A couple of benefits of running sponsored listings. Uh, number one, um, like I said, it's a great way to reach and build awareness, uh, reach new customers and build awareness of your restaurant. Um, you know, when customers open the DoorDash app, they're hungry and they're ready to find something to eat. We found that on average, 45% of orders that are placed through ads come from new customers. So those are new customers to the restaurant. Second benefit of running sponsored listing, as I've just explained, sponsored listings are pay per order, not per click. So sponsored listings guarantee that your market, marketing dollars are actually resulting in sales. We find that on average, businesses can earn around $6 for every $1 spent on ads. And finally, sponsored listings are really easy to set up. So um, I'm sure everyone in this room has kind of varied level of marketing expertise. Maybe you've never run um, advertising before. Maybe you already manage several marketing um, tools. So so no matter what your expertise level is when it comes to digital advertising, sponsored listings, um, you can customize them as much or as little as you want. They're pretty easy to, to just log in and, and set your ad up in just a couple clicks. I'm now going to deep dive into promotions. So like I've said, promotions are a way to incentivize uh, new existing and or lapsed customers to order from you. The promotion types that we offer include discounts. So that could be like a dollar amount or a percentage amount based on the minimum subtotal. You can offer free delivery and you can offer a free or discounted item. Some benefits of running promotions. Number one is you know driving sales. So um, we found that stores that run promotions can see an average of 20% increase in sales. Um, it's a great way to just incentivize people to order from you. Number two, you can customize your offer um, to really fit your business goals. So you know maybe you want to target new customers specifically, trying to get more new customers in the door, or maybe you want to re-engage with lapsed customers, people who haven't ordered from you in a while, or maybe you want to reward um, your frequent customers and, and get them coming back. You can and also customize your discount or offer so that it makes sense for your business. And a third benefit of running promotions is that it's a great way for you to stand out from the competition and get discovered. There are um, a couple of places that you'll be featured um, within the DoorDash app 
when you run a promotion, such as the homepage, um, we have like an offers tab, and then you'll also, uh, your restaurant will have a little badge that shows your offer. I'm gonna share a success story. So uh, The Melt is a regional ch a fast casual chain based in California. They have several locations and they were opening a new location in San Diego and they wanted to really open with a bang and increase their visibility um, and attract more customers. So they leveraged sponsored listings and promotions as part of their uh, marketing strategy. They used sponsored listings to build awareness of their new location and then they ran promotions in order to encourage customers to, to try them out and to increase um, how much they were spending on their order. As a result, um, with the help of sponsored listings and promotions, the Melt uh, generated $13,000 in sales in under two months. They gained around 500 new customers. Um, and now with the help of sponsored listings, 50% uh, of their overall sales come from third-party delivery. Sean Ryder, the director of revenue at the Melt, says that sponsored listings are like paying a guy to have a sign on the side of the road, but only paying him when people actually come into the door and order. Again, speaking to the um, how powerful the pay per order um, uh, value of sponsored listings is is really helpful. So starting with sponsored listings which is our ad product, you're going to log into your merchant portal, you'll click um, this marketing tab and you'll select run a campaign. And so you'll see a couple options here. Um, you're going to select advertise to customers. If you've never run a sponsored listing before, you might be eligible for a free trial. So that's a great way to um, try ads and see what they can do for your business. Um, there are no hidden fees. You can cancel your campaign at any time. Um, if you're interested in this, um, check out your merchant portal. If you're eligible, you'll see more terms and conditions there. So so when you're setting up your sponsored listing, there are a couple things that you will want to pay attention to. When you're customizing your sponsored listing campaign, you'll first select the audience. You can select whether you want to target new, existing, or all customers within your delivery radius. And again, this just kind of depends on how you want to, um, what your business goals are. Uh, the second thing you'll pay attention to is duration. So you can keep your campaign running indefinitely or you can set an end date. We recommend keeping it going uh, just because, again, since you're not paying unless someone places an order, there's really no harm in keeping it up and, and seeing who, who your ad attracts. But if you want to send an end date, that's totally fine. We just recommend keeping it on for at least a month so you can get a clear sense of how your campaign performs over time. Next, we have the daily budget. So this is the total amount you're willing to spend on orders generated from your ad each day. So this can get a little confusing. So this is not the amount that you're paying per order. It's just the total budget for each day that you're willing to spend on your ad. Your bid strategy is what determines how much you pay per order. So there are two options when it comes to your bid. Your first option is automatic bidding, which is where you just let DoorDash set the bid for you um, in each ad auction. And it allows us to dynamically set your bid so that you can stay competitive in each auction. And we'll set this bid based on a couple different factors, such as what your budget is, what we anticipate the sales of the, um, the ad to be. Or if you are like, I know exactly how much I want to pay per order. Um, let's say you, you're willing to spend a maximum of $5 per order. That's great. You can set a custom bid, which means that every time your ad is considered in an auction, um, you will bid $5. And lastly, I'll just say if you aren't sure um, what bid or budget to choose. When you log in to your campaign and when you log into Merchant Portal and create a campaign, you'll see some default options. These options are actually based on your restaurant's history and sales. So um, you can use those as a starting point. Okay, and then once you've launched your campaign, it's really important to keep track of results. You can see how it's performing and see what uh, new customers it's um, bringing in for your business. And here in the campaign reporting tab, which is under the marketing tab, you can end your campaign at any time. I will now speak about how to create a promotion. So same step, you're going to log into your merchant portal, go to the marketing tab, select run a campaign. We offer quite a few different promotion types. They're all kind of similar. You'll have to kind of read and see which one makes sense for your business. But and again, if you haven't run a promotion before, you may be eligible for a free trial. Setting up your promotion, you'll customize your campaign details. So again, you'll set your target audience, whether you want to target new, existing, lapsed, or all customers. And then customer incentive is where you can can customize your minimum subtotal and maximum discount amount. Again, highly recommend you know playing with this and figuring out what makes the most sense for your business. And you know every restaurant is different, um, and so we really recommend that you test different offers over time to learn what works, uh, what makes the most sense for your business.
And again, just like sponsored listings, once you've launched your campaign, keep an eye on it, um, on its performance in the campaign reporting tab, and you can end your campaign at any time. So if you're like, cool, all sounds great. I just want to start with one of these products. I don't know which one to choose. I recommend just starting with your business goal. So if your goal is to attract new customers and build more awareness of your restaurant in your delivery radi radius, you might want to try sponsored listings um, so that you can benefit from that increased visibility throughout the app. If you're really focused on driving conversion, when people see your restaurant, you want them to convert right away, or maybe you want to increase the average ticket size of your orders, there are quite a few promotions that can help you do that. If you want to do all of the above, you might want to run a sponsored listing and a promotion at the same time. Um, like we saw in the first example, um, a couple slides back, doing both an ad and a promotion at the same time, it can be a really compelling strategy to get new customers to try you as soon as they see you. A couple best practices. So um, like we've talked about a little bit, customizing your campaign is a great way to um, make sure that the, the campaign works for your business goals and you can reach uh, different customer types with unique offers. So maybe, for example, you want to uh, attract new customers um, with a 10% you know, off promotion. Um, or, and then your strategy for lapsed customers, people who haven't ordered from you before, um, maybe you offer them a different type of discount um, or maybe you offer them free delivery. The second best practice we have is all around maximizing your results. So I've mentioned this a couple times, but running a promotion and a sponsored listing at the same time is a really great way to make both of those campaigns work even better, like harder for you. Um, again, you're reaching more customers, you're increasing your visibility, and you're giving them an extra nudge to order from you. You know, you can set an end date for your campaigns, but we really recommend keeping them on. Um, the benefit is that you only pay when you receive an order, um, so there's really no harm in, in keeping it on. And then finally, I've said this a couple times, but you know, every restaurant is different, so just if you're really um, hoping to get the most out of your DoorDash marketing campaigns, just try different offers and configurations over time and, and learn what works best for you. Quick plug for the Learning Center. We have this amazing resource where um, you can learn not just about ads and promotions, but all of the different um, tools that DoorDash offers. So you'll find walkthroughs, product tutorials, and best practices um, can be accessed at any time via desktop, mobile, or tablet. So if you are so inclined, you can take a, you can scan the QR code and that's it. So um, Thank you so much. Any questions on ads or promotions? Can you actually explain the explain the process of I think it was for the ads where it's like at auction mm -hmm. but then there's bids. I don't I have no idea what that looks like. Thank yep. you. Yeah, great question. So sponsored listings, they work very similarly to other ad platforms in that when an ad shows up for a customer, um, it's shown based on an ad auction. So what's happening is if if I'm a customer and I'm searching for like a pizza spot, um, there are a couple different pizza restaurants in my area, basically having an auction to show up as that ad for me. So a um, couple things happen when that auction takes place. Number one is the bid. So that's how much um, each restaurant is willing to pay to be shown to me. Um, and then the second um, major piece in that auction is quality score. So, and there's a couple of different things that go into quality score that you can read more about on our help center, but it's basically like our best guess on, you know, um, like looking at your history of customers who have ordered you from you before, what's the likelihood that people will, act, will order from you if they see your ad. So those are the two main factors that go into an ad auction. Um, and so when we talk about bid strategy, it's really, you know, how are you going to, um, how are you willing to pay to show up? Um, let's say you want to bid $5, that's your maximum bid. And let's say you win the auction. We've decided to place your ad for this consumer. Um, you'll actually only pay the second, second place auctioner. So if one of your competitors was bidding $4, but you've won the auction, then you will only pay $4. It's very like complicated, but it's technically an ad auction is basically a bunch of, uh, or however many competitors are bidding for the same ad placement. Um, we kind of uh, hold an auction to, to determine what to show to the customer. Does that help? Okay. Thanks. And then, um, yeah, so then your, your budget, um, so I'll give you some numbers if, in, in case it helps you kind of visualize. Um, let's say your average bid is around $5 um, and your daily budget is $50. So you could maybe expect to see around 10 orders come in from your ad per day. And so then multiply that by however what your average order size is. Great question. Thank you. Do you have a recommended amount that we should be setting aside as restaurant owners to market on a daily, monthly, weekly basis? Yes. Um, so 
We recommend your daily budget should be between one to three percent of your daily sales across your store. So when you go to set up something to um, keep in mind with sponsored listings is when you go to set up your sponsored listing by default, we'll usually select all of your eligible, all of your stores that are eligible for sponsored listings. So just keep in mind when you open this um, campaign creator and if you see these numbers, just keep in mind that they're across all of your stores that you have on DoorDash. But to answer your question, uh, we recommend between one to 3% of your, um, your daily sales for a daily budget. If that's not, if that's too much, that's totally fine. You're more than welcome to, um, edit your budget, um, and again, just test it out, see what works, and then you can go from there. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs>